I'm excited to have you too. You know, you and I got to meet over uh, over Zoom, not yet in person, but we will. I know that. And we had a long chat. We were talking about your market and I was blown away at the median price in your market. So can can you let us know again, the market area, what part of New York that is for people that might be unfamiliar with that and then talk sure. about the median prices? I um, live in Larchmont which is probably the m- most desirable town in Westchester County. And yeah. uh, we are the highest tax County in the country. So we all love that. Um, we are a 35 minute train ride outside New York city. So it makes it very desirable for commuters. We're on the water. We have all the country clubs, beach clubs, yacht clubs, golf clubs, everything. So, and a small town feel. So I grew up in New York city and it's the best commute. You, my family was in New York City, and I wanted to be able to hop back and forth. So driving, there's always traffic in New York City. But oh, on yeah. the train, it's literally like by the time you open an email, you can't even return, you know, respond. And it's great. And um, it's it's the best of both worlds because I'm still, you could take the girl out of the city, but not the city out of the girl. And yeah. so it's my fix. And unfortunately, New York City has come a little sad, depressing now a little bit, you know, dirtier and more homeless. But it's like you go in for concerts, you go in for theater, which I grew up with a lot, concerts and theater and restaurants and shopping. Oh, and then yeah. you come home. And Absolutely. so you have the best of both worlds. Let me ask you something. Your median price in your market, I want to say, what is it, like 1.4? Oh somewhere God, around yeah. there? Yeah. It's, yeah. I actually have some stats in front of me, but yes, 1.4. Um, and I have a house on the market right now that's 1.3 and the market is shifting slowly, but we never go and there's a predicted uh, recession and we don't really see a recession where we are. We see it maybe plateau because if six months ago, this house was on the market that I have, it's pristine and in the best neighborhood, best schools, it would have been gone in three days. Sure. So it's been on the market now maybe 11 days, which is a long time in large month. Yeah. Wow. So a long time. That's fast. In 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 la- the last two years, the hot homes are about a minimum of 11% over market and are in contract in about 12 days. Still. And still they're going over yeah. asking. Okay. Where are Where is this clientele coming from? Are they international? Are they more local or are they changing counties? Where Where's the most amount of people? Well, where would you say your, your top few uh, feeder markets are? New York City, Brooklyn, um, Queens, mostly New York City, Brooklyn. Um, I would say the most, those two areas. Yeah. There was a mass exodus from New York oh. City for the last two years. And it's slowing down a little bit now. Buyers are becoming more discerning. Um, it's been a massive seller's market for two years. Sellers, I mean, I was in bidding wars where 17 people were bidding in two days and it was on market two days. And we were eighth in line and we were going three and 400 over asking and waiving all our contingencies and still not getting it. How about those houses? Tell me, what do you get for 1.4 million? What's like the- Not as much as other places. Like 1,200 um, square feet, three beds, no, you two get, baths. You can get for, for 1.4, you can get like 2,300 square feet. Wow. Um, You can get less. I mean, things are like 1,800 square feet or 15. It depends what it's, so you can change the price, you can change the condition, but you can't change location. Correct. So most people don't want to be on a double yellow line with young children, but they take it because it's, you know, what I say to buyers is, you know, it's a great first home and first and a, and a first time home buyer is buying a $1.4 million house, which I couldn't afford when I was younger, you know, it's wow. a first time home buyer. Um, we have very few things under a million dollars. Yep. And if we do, it's gone immediately. Mm-hmm.